I interrupt the inspection of my Ombi One Hive to hear the queen piping in the Gnome Sweet Gnome Hive. Turn your volume up. I start to hear a queen piping in the hive right next to this one. So when I closed the lid last time, I closed the bumblebee with it. Okay, just got a couple of girls walking around on the top. Can you hear that? That's inside my other hive. She must have felt my presence and got real quiet. Huh, it was about mid way. I have to keep my ears open. This is Super Bee Shirley with BBS Bees. It is Thursday, August 4th, 2022. About 3.30 in the afternoon. It's probably about 82 degrees. We don't have any wind. Smoker's going pretty good over the yonder. I'm gonna add some audio slash video of what I think was the queen piping. It's at the beginning of this video. She was over here in like 6, 7, and 8, and then when I came back, 10, 12, 13, and now she's quiet. It's either that or we have frogs. A lot of hive noise, so they're trying to maintain the temperature in there. I was just coming in to see how they were doing in those last few frames. Make sure they had enough room. Not a lot of things blooming right now. Uh, rain deficit. So their main goal now is probably just to, to dehydrate that nectar. Set it back over there. Since there's no wind, that um, smoker Crazy. I think I will pull, I have two Dorada boards here just for safety. And I am on frame 22. All right, plan is to move frame 22 over with the two Dorada boards. See what's going on way back here. Cap Tunny. Propolized really well. Oh my god, this is heavy all with honey all the way down. Heavy, this is frame 21. Almost fully capped. And I can't see, yeah, you can see that. We maybe have an inch and a half down at the bottom that is just nectar. Same on this side. All right, so frame 22 that I said was just half comb. Looks like it's all the way down with capped honey. Wow. Few drones. The ones with the black. This one's kind of moving really fast right here. That's a drone. Oh, I'm already stuck. 
Right there is the drones for this colony. Drone right there. Drone right there. Blacker back and and wider. Good luck getting my fingers to not stick to it. Oh, nice and warm. Oh, cool, much cooler back here. Wow, you can just definitely tell by putting your hand on the frames. Frame 14. It's back so maybe you can see a little bit what I'm doing. Frame 14. Still cold. Lucky 13. Oh, isn't that interesting? Frame 14 is probably mostly honey. 10 is definitely cooler. Yeah, there's. Frame 14 is the temperature different differential. 13, definitely warm. Yeah. So don't hear that piping. Maybe she's doing battle. Or maybe she's already done with battle and she is victorious. But if this hive had swarmed in the past few days, there goes a drone. Uh, there's still bees back here. If it had swarmed, I wouldn't have guessed bees would be back here on the back. A few frames crawling around, dehydrating the nectar. Oh yeah, 13, 14. It's definitely pretty temperature differential. Interesting. All right, I'm going to try to get some pollen pants, Cam, and then we're done for the day. So I'm not pulling any frames today. I potentially could pull a few of the frames, but the bees will keep it more safe than I can. And at the right temperature and humidity. August is going to be our hottest month of the year. This area has had less rain than anticipated. The lawn's getting a little bit dry and crunchy. So I expect natural resources to be not as plentiful. I didn't expect either of the hives to have honey all the way back on their 20th, 20 or so frames because of that, because of the water deficit. I also don't feel I need to delve into the brood nest and more of the honey frames just to see what's going on because it's early August. I'm not gonna pull any frames, it would just be to satisfy satisfy my curiosity. They would just have to do the repair work for the propolis and I don't want to put them through that additional work and they could be working hard at making more brood and more honey, fighting off all of the other creatures that coexist with them. All right, this is Super Bee Shirley with BBSBs. We'll buzz you later. Bye. Stay tuned for some pollen pants cam. We'll see what's going on at the entrances. 3.30 in the afternoon. I don't see pollen on these either.
of activity. Everybody knows where they need to go. Would you like me to go live on my YouTube channel during my next inspections? I almost did it for these inspections, which would have been fun, especially if I had any viewers and you could have told me in real time if that was the queen piping. Anyway, this is Super B Shirley with BBS Bees. We'll buzz you later. Bye. It is. Monday, August 1st, 2022, and here's what's blooming around the windmill. This was just a wildflower packet from John's, but then there was also some various other wildflower packets that were put in here in the past year or two. We do have some cone flowers. Pretty excited about those. Little blue things were blooming when I was here last a few weeks ago, and so were those little orange things. So it's filling in at its own pace. Buzz you later. Bye.